What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, today I got uh, two things for you. First one is there was uh, more spy pictures I received of the 2019 Ram yesterday. Uh, these are the first ones that show off the uh, second style front end. There's two styles of front ends on these trucks. So if you're more interested in seeing anything on that, head over to uh, www.fifthgenrams.com. And as for the second thing, I put that uh, LED third brake light on my truck uh, two, three days ago. Uh, the day after that, it rained. The day after that, it snowed. And the day after that, I realized that that thing was leaking. So I'm going to show you guys today how to fix that, reseal the third brake light. Um, other than that, I'm really happy with it. It looks great. No problems with the way it works. Um, I should have caught it when I put it in. The gasket was really thin. And, yeah, it just didn't seal well. So we're going to get that taken care of. We're heading down to uh, the store right now. Going to pick up some uh, stuff to make a new gasket, and I'll get back to you guys. moments later all right guys so this is what you're gonna need to uh, solve the third brake light leak it's gonna be uh, closed cell insulating foam tape one side is gonna have the uh, sticky tape so you can stick it to the actual brake light itself and I went with uh, as you can see there 3 8 by 3 8 so Let's get this taken care of. All right, so here's the aftermarket third brake light. Uh, like I said, looks great. I really like it. Um, the only problem is it uh, leaks. It comes with a crappy gasket. So let's take care of that. Gonna do these two Phillips screws. Okay, so you can see here that water is getting past this gasket. I actually had the same problem with the stock third brake light. I had to seal that up. It's weird, it's like a problem. They all seem to have Ford Chefs, Rams. Third brake lights always leak on them. So I'm gonna take this stock gasket off that came with this. I'm gonna show you the difference. Like I said, I should have caught this when I put it on. This gasket was so thin. So here's the gasket that came with it. See how thin it is? And there's what I'm gonna put on. You see a huge difference there. So what you're gonna wanna do is start in the bottom middle so that that's where your seam is. Run it all along the channel. All right, that's all there is to it. Just make sure you make a nice cut here. So it keeps all the water out, gets a nice seal. See, now there's a huge difference. You can see the gasket's gonna have to compress for this even to tighten down. That's gonna keep all the water out. So make sure you screw it down evenly. There we go. That should not leak. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. Hope it was informative. I hope that helped you out. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and i got more stuff coming for you soon. 
Uh, this is probably my last video before Christmas, so just want to say, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.